everybody, I hope you're all okay and staying safe and well at home. Right, today I'm going to show you how to make non-cook play-doh. This is my daughter Amelia. Hello. And she's going to help me. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to take some plain flour. You need to put two cups of plain flour into the bowl. Okay, Amelia, do you want to help me? Do you want to pour the flour into the mug for me? So we need one cup and pour it into the bowl. And then we need to add another cup and pour it into the bowl. Right, this is really, really easy to make and it doesn't cost very much at all. Thank you. So next we need to pour half a cup of salt into here. Okay, so you keep squeezing until it fills half of the cup, like that. And then you can pour the salt in with the flour. Once you've done that, you will need to take some oil, right? This is sunflower oil. But it does say to use vegetable oil, but it doesn't really make a difference. So I'm going to open the top. I'm going to use the spoon. I'm going to put two spoons into the bowl. One. Two. Right, next, we need to add something called cream of tartar. Now, if you haven't got cream of tartar, thank you, then you can use some lemon juice instead it doesn't make a difference so one or the other but I will use this one as this is the one that I use when I make play-doh for nursery so you just open a sachet and you can pour one sachet of cream of tartar in with the ingredients that we've got already okay so don't put it in good girl okay so this is all of the ingredients that we've got that we need to mix together so we take a wooden spoon and start to mix it. Right, I have boiled the kettle because you will need to use one to one and a half cups of hot water. Right, the children love to help to make Play-Doh, but just make sure that you do that part for them because obviously they need to be careful with the hot water. to fill the cup up to the top with the hot water so if you just pour it in bit by bit okay and we'll mix it okay do you want to mix <laughs> Okay, at the moment it's looking really gooey. Look, it looks like this. So you have to keep mixing it until we've got a good consistency. So it's looking really stodgy and lumpy at the moment. So we need to get all of the lumps out. It's just like if you were making something like pastry. Or bread dough. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the bowl now. Okay, it might be really hot, so you've got to be careful. So we've started to get a dough. This is still a little bit too sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more flour. Okay, so I've got a little bit of flour left. To put some flour on the worktop. 
going to knead the dough, which is our Play-Doh, on the worktop, like that. Right, now, if you want to, you can add some food colouring into the dough. You could put some red food colouring, or some yellow food colouring, or some green food colouring to make pretty colour Play-Doh. So I think I'm going to add some red dye to the dough, so we can have some nice red Play-Doh. Mix it all together, like that. Uh, and keep kneading it until it's nice and soft. You might need to use quite a bit of food colouring to make the colour change or add the food colouring to the dough when it's in the bowl. Because mine looks like it's been marbled. <laughs> right, then you can use the rolling pin and you can roll out the dough. like this. Can you roll that for me, Amelia? There we go. So Amelia is rolling the dough so it's nice and flat so that we can use some cutters to cut, cut out some shapes. Good girl, well done. Okay, could you get some cutters for me, Amelia? And you can show everybody how you could cut out the shapes with the cutters. Okay, so we've got a nice little badger. I'm going to press the badger cutter down into the dough. And then, if you pull the dough around it, you should have a badger. It's not a very good cutter. Push it out. Can you push it out? Push. <laughs> Is it stuck? Oh, that's it. You're doing it well done. There we go. Da -da. We've got a little badger. <laughs> then we can roll it out again. Like this. And then we can use another cutter to try and cut out something else. Do you want to do the butterfly? That's it. Make sure the sharp edge is down. There we go, look. A perfect butterfly. Okay, so hopefully now you know how to make Play-Doh so there's no cooking involved at all and you can easily make it with your children. Okay, I hope to see you soon. I miss you all. Bye!